Yeah. Hi guys. Okay, so I thought I would just do like a very casual version of unboxing. I'm not gonna make like a full dedicated video. I'm just gonna put this into a vlog. But so this is the bag that I exchanged. So I like this one so much better so much better but it's actually completely different <laughs> like i wouldn't consider this color a pastel it's more of a bright color like i was saying before is that i actually want to integrate more color into my collection i don't know what happened if you've been watching my video since the beginning i always talk about how i'm all about signature style signature colors like very classic things and i don't know what happened but i had a complete 180 and now i really after this bag i want to buy seasonal bags and colors that are more rare like more unique like purples and iridescent colors and i don't know i feel like i have enough louis vuitton bags that i'm good with my classics so now because like louis vuitton is just so classic no matter what it is that canvas is so classic so i thought with chanel it could be kind of my realm to play a little bit more but yeah so let's just unbox this so i'm doing it a bit of a different angle so now you're on the tripod instead of me like holding it up and doing it so we can kind of just like do it way quicker and also don't mind my bed i'm changing my bed sheets so while my stuff is in the dryer i thought we would multitask and open this okay but let's just get to opening this so obviously the packaging is super cute Let me face it this way so you guys can see it. Okay, so the bag is on the bottom. So if any of you guys are afraid, and then can you see it? <laughs> okay. So this is my new Chanel 19 bag. I feel like on camera, it looks a lot darker. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is not a light pastel color by any means, but it's a true coral, which is why I love it. I love coral. Coral is one of my favorite colors. Let me see if I can bring it closer, but this is what it looks like. Oh, it's, it's so pretty because I feel like red is a little bit too dark for me and completely orange might be i don't know i feel like it just wouldn't go with my skin tone but coral i feel like it looks so good let me show you this. This so this is the bag what do you guys think i love it so much more <laughs> so what do you guys think i think it looks don't mind all my these are like clothes that i'm selling but i love it like i love it so this is what it looks like do you see how like with the lighting it it's like a dark pastel coral this is how it looks like this i'm obsessed i actually really 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 like it it's so cute okay, so let me tell you something really exciting i have no pimples well i don't have any active breakouts right now like some are healing but do you see like how good my skin looks but obviously i clearly have makeup on i'm wearing the rare beauty foundation and i have no concealer like on my face i only have a little bit of concealer under my eyes which is the tarp shape tape in i think light medium honey but in terms of my face i only have what do i have the rare beauty foundation which i applied with a flat top synthetic brush because I feel like the brushes like really make a difference in application. And then I have a little bit of, there is powder on my face. What powder is on my face? Okay, I can't remember what powder is on my face. But I do know I have the hourglass powder underneath my eyes. Did I even powder my face? I honestly don't even remember. But like, do you see how like nice my skin looks? Like I've been so consistent for the last two weeks with my acne drink and like all my other little tips. So I'm going to make a full dedicated acne repair video or acne recovery video, like a full, full video. I'm going to talk about like my acne drinks, my acne products, like what I avoid and all that stuff. So that's probably going to be coming up after this vlog goes up. But yeah, let me show you which bag I'm using. So I'm using my brand new Chanel 19 bag. How cute. 
if you guys are wondering oh that bag doesn't match your outfit uh, well you should see the bottom half of my outfit because it doesn't match even more i'm literally wearing this like baby blue crew neck and i'm wearing like these cheap shorts that i got for like five dollars from i think fashion nova but they make your butt look so good i've had these shorts for about like two years or so they're just like my comfy just like lounging shorts so i'm just gonna be running some errands right now i just got to target me and my friends are having this like halloween party and when i say halloween party it's literally just like five of us having a potluck on halloween <laughs> but it's nothing like crazy or anything we're not gonna dress up i think me and my friend erica are gonna just go in as onesies because uh why do i want to spend money on a costume for no reason you know what i mean but i'll probably do like a lot of makeup so maybe i'll film myself getting ready for that i always get like sidetracked so going to target and then i'm also gonna go to sprouts to buy vegetables because it's getting colder so i want to make some like fresh juices for my family because i do have a juicer and then I also have some kale outside so that was like the main reason why I wanted to make juice because I wanted to use my fresh kale before it goes bad and I think that's about it and then I actually just bought another Chanel bag which I know is crazy okay please hold on for a second but I'm gonna have a full story about why I bought the bag, how it happened and everything in a whole separate video just dedicated to that bag when I first started vlogging I honestly thought the first thing people would say is like called me spoiled or like just like no, like typical things that you see in luxury community like videos you know what i mean and then the second thing is i i could have sworn there would be people to be like oh you're so ugly or like oh you have like the worst skin known to man and all these things but ironically people have been very kind and i don't know it's just like very uplifting to me and i'm so grateful for the community that we've created i know it's sounds just really sappy and it's so stupid but it's just it's so refreshing like when i first started making youtube videos i could have sworn the first thing people would attack would be like the way i look or stuff like that but people have been really really great so i just want to like thank you guys for being so positive and yeah so anyways i think i'm going to do an updated what's in my bag video but i think i want to get a smorga until i film that enough talking let's go to target and i'll take you with me to come look for stuff but i just want to say like do you guys see my skin right now like it's crazy like literally just click back to my last vlog and look at like the dryness and the texture of my skin and in that video i am wearing foundation as well i'm not wearing the rare beauty foundation but i am wearing a foundation and then now like look at my skin like i'll even give you like a little close-up i mean obviously i still have like texture and stuff right here but it's looking great great obviously i still have scarring and everything like that but i personally don't really mind scars like i've just had them for so long that i don't really care my main goal is just to get rid of any active breakouts and like we're good looking for me to let's go take me on this journey home i don't wanna wait no let me turn around the moon tell me you'll be on real soon i don't wanna wait no So I'm currently trying to figure out what to get because me and my friends are doing this kind of like black elephant type of thing but our budget is only like 20 bucks and my friend gave me some ideas where you use like candy and stuff so I'm currently trying to decide what to make for it but I just feel like these bags of candy are just too big because this is more for like trick-or-treaters but I don't get trick-or-treaters in my house so yeah I'm not really sure what I should do Oh my god, but I love this. Have you guys ever had this? This is like OG when I was in elementary school. Like I love this. So bad for your teeth, but so good. <laughs> okay, so of course I'm back in the coffee section because I always have to come to the coffee section when I go to Target. And this is actually my favorite coffee. Not the grounded one. I like the whole beans, but they're actually out of the whole beans. They only have the grounded one, but I love Don Francisco's Kona blend. Do you guys like Dunkin' Donuts coffee? I've tried it and I'm just not impressed with it. I don't know why it has such raving reviews, but yeah. So I'm just gonna get this one. We're gonna settle for the grounded one. Alrighty, I, so I just left Target and I really didn't find anything. I honestly have no idea what I'm looking for. We're doing, like I said, a black elephant. It's like a white elephant, but I think we said black because it's like Halloween, so you know, like dark. But basically, like we have to make a 
Halloween themed gift, but I feel like that's really difficult and our budget is only about like 20 bucks or so. So I'm not really sure what I should be doing. I bought some candy and like Halloween type like pumpkin cookies or whatever, but I feel like I still need something. So I'm debating on buying maybe like a DVD or like a Halloween movie and maybe like find some like Halloween socks or something like that. I'm not quite sure. I really don't want to go to the mall and go to like Hot Topic or something. So yeah, but I'm currently on my way to Sprouts right now. This was actually the very first time I used my bag. I'll do a full dedicated review video of the Chanel 19, but I feel like I want to use it for at least like at least a week straight just to really tell you, not just kind of like in the excitement and then I'm like, yeah, you should buy it. You know what I mean? Like I really want to weigh like the pros and cons and everything. Okay, so I feel like the lighting on that side when I was holding the camera wasn't very good. So hopefully this is a little bit better. But yeah, so this was actually the first time I've ever like took it out. It's honestly just been sitting in my room and I've just been looking at it. I Touch it every day and I'm like wow you're so cute and then I kind of put it down I've just kind of been too afraid to use it and on top of that like don't get me wrong I love the color like coral like slash peach is one of my favorite colors of all time but I've just been hesitant to use it because coral itself is a very spring summer color I don't feel like coral is wintry at all not even close so I feel like that's one of the benefits of getting white is I feel like white is really good year-round white could be great for the winter and white could be fantastic fantastic for spring and summer um i feel like i eventually will like long long term get a small white chanel 19 i i just i love i love the color combo of the white with the gold and like the mixed hard metals but obviously as of right now we're gonna take a little hiatus in the chanel spending so i'm on my way to sprouts just to buy some vegetables and stuff like that and then i'll probably go home i think tonight i'm gonna be making pork chops which is really funny because i had howlin rays for dinner last night and i had howlin rays leftovers um for lunch <laughs> so and then now i'm gonna make fried pork chops so it's really just a frying spree right now so just watch my skin like blow up after all of this fried food <laughs> uh, fingers crossed that it doesn't happen but you know what we will get through this so yeah okay i'll see you guys inside sprouts give me a second i should probably be driving and focusing Oh my god guys like this little street are putting like little scarecrows but like cute scarecrows at like every other pole how adorable is this there's another one right here oh my gosh how cute look its arms are like blowing in the wind that is so adorable should i get out of my car and take a picture of it oh my gosh so cute Sorry that I didn't really vlog inside Sprouts. It was pretty busy. Like there was a line outside and probably what like 10 people in line. But they were having some really good deals at Sprouts. Let me just tell you if you have a Sprouts near you. So the blackberries were five for five dollars, which is a steal. And then the strawberries, hold on. I like how Sprouts does like receipts like back and forth, but they have the strawberries two for three dollars. And then pears were super cheap it was four pounds four pounds of pears you know how many pears that is it's easily like at least like 11 pears four pounds of pears for five dollars i thought that was such a steal so i bought a bunch of fruits so i'm going to be juicing the majority of the pears tonight and then just using them to snack because i haven't been really eating that healthy like i'll literally just have maybe one meal a day and then like a little snack so i really need to like kick back my butt into overdrive and be more productive and healthy but I actually bought a magazine. I haven't bought a magazine easily four years, at least four years. And I bought this magazine at checkout. It's like the Grand Canyon National Park Journal. I've really been wanting to just travel in general, either outside of the country, but I actually really want to travel inside the country. Like I want to go to Antelope Valley. I want to go to Zion. I want to go to Yellowstone, Yosemite, like all of these things. I want to see like Mount Rushmore and it's like I've lived in the US, like born and raised since, well, forever, obviously. And my family has never really been into, like I've seen the Grand Canyon and stuff, but my family hasn't really been into seeing like the wonders of America. Not saying they're like incredible or anything, but like I'm such a forest person. Like I love wilderness. I love trees and just stars and everything like that. And I would just, ugh, I just, the sound of nature is just so peaceful to me you know how there's like beach people and then there's like forest people don't get me wrong like i love the beach like the beach is really nice but i love 
the forest. I love the mountains, like the peacefulness in it. I don't know, it's just something that's like unexplainable. But yeah, so I definitely, definitely, I'm gonna look at this and uh, maybe I'll give you a little updates. But yeah, especially with quarantine, I feel like what else can you do but road trip? You know what I mean? So yeah, okay, I'm gonna go home now and we're gonna make some juice. Looking from your telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no it's getting so dark so fast now so this is my beautiful kale plant i wish i plucked it earlier because some of the leaves are already dying but i'm basically gonna harvest all of this since it is getting colder i'm gonna use all of this for my juice and then this is my thriving parsley plant Alrighty, so we're gonna be making pork chops today. Fried pork chops, so it's basically katsu in Japanese. I'm gonna use up the old breadcrumbs first and then put in the new ones in here. Alrighty, so we have the pork chops over here. I like thicker cuts of pork chop, and I couldn't find the normal loin one, so we're gonna be using the one with the bone today. But my dad, well, the rest of my family actually prefers thick pork chops, so I'm gonna have the thick ones, and then my family's gonna have the thinner ones. And then of course for frying, we have flour, egg wash, and then we have panko. From your telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no more. Let me turn behind the moon. Tell me you'll be on real soon. I don't wanna wait no more. We could be dancing in the stars. We could be floating on the As long as I'm safely in your arms. to clean and I thought I would open some packages too but let me clean my room first and then I'm gonna wash my face and then when we get all settled we can like open um, some of the things that I ordered online okay so obviously I just finished washing my face and I cleaned the majority of my room I did two loads of laundry as well and I thought I would just open some of the stuff that I got oh. So I just have a couple packages. I thought we can just open them together. So I ordered all of these packages just to clarify. Nobody sent me anything. So I got something from Casetify. I don't know if you guys know this, but my iPhone is the iPhone 8 Plus. So I got it two years ago. So it's finally, finally time to upgrade. And then I thought, considering how expensive the iPhone 12 is, and then I thought I would invest in Casetify since everybody talks about Casetify. So many people that I follow on either Instagram or what is this? Oh wow, they gave you like a bunch of wet wipes and dry wipes, that's cool. I didn't, sorry, so I turned on the lights because it was a little dark, but this is my first time ordering from Case Defy ever. I just got one case and then I got a screen protector, but the screen protector is gonna come, I think next week, I believe. But I got a lilac case, of course. And I they had this like special edition collab. Okay, I won't take the plastic off until I actually get my phone But this is what it looks like 
I think the light is too bright, but can you see the pastel? So it's like a gradient pastel from like coral to pink to blue to lilac. Let me give a little close up like that. I'll insert the picture online so then you can see it online as well. I just love the look of like paintbrush strokes. It's just very relaxing. I was debating between this one and then this like ocean wave one that was really cute as well. But I actually didn't know this, but Case Defy is super customizable. So this case normally comes clear, but do you see that mine has like the little lilac tint on the side? Oh, I think you can see it right here. So it's lilac and then I got the case defy protector as well. I think that was like $35 So yeah, I'm actually really really excited to use this I haven't decided if I'm gonna buy a pop socket yet or not I really do enjoy using pop sockets, but I don't know I kind of like the idea of my phone being flat as well. So we shall see but this is my case so I'm gonna keep it in the box until my actual phone arrives. It's supposed to arrive on November 2nd, I believe or was it November 9th? I don't know. And then I also ordered stuff from Beautylish because they did have their gift card event, but I need to relax on the spending. So I held back and also the set that I wanted from Sonya G was still sold out, so it didn't even matter. But I've been eyeing these Chiku Hodo eye brushes for so long. It's the three set. And if you follow brushes, then you already know which one I'm talking about. It's in the Z series. And if you don't collect high-end brushes, then I really, really recommend you to start because it's such a game changer. I love how fast Beautyless shipping is. It's incredibly fast. So, oh, they gave me a sample. I didn't even know I was getting a sample. So let's just open this really quick. So it is from RN Co. Death Valley. Oh, dry shampoo. So they gave me a full sample of this. It's like a deluxe sample. Do you see the size of this? This is a good size. But so here are the brushes. You see that big box just for this little package. But I'm really excited. I'm just gonna rip it, screw it. I started really getting into brushes about, I think maybe like five to six years ago. Ever since I started watching Lisa Eldridge and then that's when I just really started getting into brushes, like more expensive, like handmade brushes. and. You really just, once you start investing in really good quality brushes, like you just can't go back. You really, really can't. So this is the Z series by Chikuhoto. I've been wanting these brushes for months and I just keep adding it to my Beautylish cart and I was just like, Maggie, you don't need it. It's the middle of the pandemic. What are you doing? Where are you going? <laughs> like you don't need to make a really nice eye look. I have the Wayne Goss eye set and then I also actually really want to buy the Sonia G Sky eye set. It's the blue one. That's just a little too much money right now, so I thought I would just settle and get these Chikuhoto brushes. Well, not settle, because I've been wanting these brushes, but instead of spending like $160, I'm spending, well, like $112. But I was able to get the $20 gift card, so I'm going to be using that to buy the Sonia G. I think it's the Face One brush. That brush is always sold out. The moment it comes back in stock, it sells out. It's ridiculous, which makes me just want it even more, you know what I mean? So they're pretty short. Let me get a Mac brush just so you can compare the size. Alrighty, for size reference, so here is the MAC 217 brush, the original one. They, I don't know if you guys know this, but MAC changed all their brush hairs to synthetic, which a lot of people, including myself, are upset about. But So do you see how this one is so much shorter? And then the MAC one is about like a solid inch bigger. And then I brought the Fenty brush, just so you can see the size comparison. So it is a lot shorter, but I don't mind at all. So I got the blending brush the flat brush and then the pointed brush pencil brush i'm sorry so the pencil brush the first one is kind of like a blending crease brush the second one is just a flat shader brush and then the last one is a pencil brush oh my gosh they're so soft like ridiculously soft oh my god I've seen some people use these types of brushes to like set their makeup. This is only for I feel like when I watch makeup artists do like editorials and stuff and they just put a little bit of powder here and a little bit of powder here and it's just, I don't know, super satisfying to watch. And then I've actually really been wanting a super soft pencil brush as well just for like, you know, the inner corner also blending right here just because at least for me, my eye area right here is pretty sensitive. So the normal pencil brushes that I use, I feel like are not soft enough. So I really wanted to invest in this, but oof, I'm so stoked. Maybe I'll use this tomorrow, we shall see. Or maybe I'll use this on Halloween, but 
Oh wow, they're so incredibly soft. <laughs> Alrighty, so the last thing I bought was from Aloe. So if you guys haven't seen my organized my like athleisure collection, if you did see it, you would know that I collect Aloe soft shorts and bra sets. It's just a weird thing. I have it in gray, lavender, or lilac, and then a very bright pink. And they just recently came out with, I think the color is called like blue quartz or something it's supposed to represent positive energy i don't know but i had to get it i just i had to so this is what it looks like i'm obsessed if you guys haven't tried these shorts they're so ridiculously soft so comfortable super flattering because they are high-waisted so you can see that the waist is kind of ripped i just love that they use like a heathered color always for their shorts but this is this one and then i like to get different styles of bras because aloe has so many different styles of bras so i don't like to get the same thing every time and i actually don't have this style of a bra so it looks like this it reminds me of my favorite gymshark bra like the style it's the one that's always sold out and of course it's part of the aloe soft so yeah maybe i'll try this on tomorrow so you guys can see what it looks like on i'm not gonna put it on right now just because it's late and i'm kind of tired but yeah so super super cute and then it just says aloe on the back so yeah so that's it for my mini haul i mean i don't, wouldn't even consider this a haul i just ordered stuff but yeah and then this is actually new as well look how cute this is oh this is my new bottle for like by my desk it's when aloe collabed with the brand bkr the bottle company i'm probably just gonna watch some netflix and then maybe do a rough cut of another vlog and yeah so that's it for this vlog i'll either see you guys tomorrow or see you guys in my next video bye guys hi guys so it is another day and guess what is coming out today it is the whitney and Jim Shark collab so last year i was able to go and i was able to get every single thing that i wanted right but obviously on a website it's a lot more apprehensive <laughs> so i feel like the site's gonna crash it's gonna lag my greatest fear is that when everything is in the cart it'll be like oh i'm so sorry like some items in your cart need to be removed because they're unavailable so i'm really nervous i've been sitting in this chair for the last hour it's supposed to launch at 12 o'clock so it is currently like 11:44. so i'm still just sitting here waiting i have my desktop open but i'm gonna prioritize buying it on my phone just because apple pay is usually a lot faster but yeah see what bothers me is that they don't even have like the whitney stuff on their website so i don't know if you guys have ever bought like launches before but for example like the white fox boutique and the sarah's day like they have everything already on their website it's just considered sold out so everything like in every size is gone but it's just because they didn't launch it yet right so you're able to basically click let's say the bra that you want and you can just have it on and then you can just refresh it and go whereas like gymshark isn't doing anything on their website and that like that alone makes me really nervous i wish they could change that format and just have everything available not saying you can add it to cart but just have everything available you can see all the prices see like how it's gonna be on the website so then you can just check out and make it like really simple and clean but yeah so we'll see so my goal is to get the shorts in almost every color i have like a little list already i really want one crop top i think i want to get two bras maybe three um and then a pair of joggers so we will see how this goes i will update you guys okay guys that was a disaster because literally so the launch was at 12 and at 11 59 my computer decides to stop working literally my keyboard stops working and my mouse stops working so i'm trying to buy stuff on my phone so after you check out put things in your cart the there's a queue to pay and then when the queue ends they're letting me know that items are out of stock like four things got out of my cart so like i wasn't able to get any sets like my number one goal was the amazon green and obviously that was the first thing to go because that color is gorgeous so i wasn't able to get that i was only able to get the pink haze uh bra 
and then I got the black shorts, moss shorts, the blue shorts, and then what else did I get? Oh, and then a black bra. So the only set I was able to get was a black bra and black shorts, but I just bought the black bra after everything just because like I was so sad. So I was like, even though it's black, like I just want one type of set, you know what I mean? So I wasn't able to get the joggers that sold out while I was in the cart. I wasn't able to get the hoodie sold out in the cart. I wasn't able to get any of the leggings. Um, so, oh god. And then I got one thing in the Amazon green, which is just the crop top. But like, I would rather have the bra than the crop top. I would rather have the shorts than anything. So I'm disappointed, but I did see on the comments that a lot of people were really happy and they said that they were able to get what they wanted. So like, that's really good because like last year I was able to get everything I wanted. So I'm glad like some people like were able to get everything they wanted. But then I went on the Gymshark Instagram and like there's a, a lot of other people that are really upset. I mean, it's just clothes at the end of the day, but I think it's just frustrating when I'm not saying that it needs to be saved in the cart, right? Because you can be browsing like that's not fair, but I feel like the moment that you're paying, it should be saved. Does that make sense? So like if it's in your cart, I don't think it should be saved because if you're looking at other things, but the moment that you press checkout and you're paying for it, I feel like there has to be a way to save what's there. Like the moment that you hit pay, like payment, I feel like immediately that stock should be out. Does that make sense? Like the inventory for like that, whatever you're purchasing in your cart and you're paying for it, it should be immediately like out of inventory uh, because it's just like, it's really not fair. And then the other thing I hated is that when they notify you that something's out of stock, you don't just go through with the payment process, right? Like they tell you it's out of stock and then you have to refresh the page and then continue on. Like that part probably pisses me off the most is because it keeps notifying me that something's out of stock right which is causing time delay for me actually checking out so yeah so i wasn't able to get the number one thing that i wanted which was the amazon green set and the joggers but you know like <gasps> this is life um so yeah there's a little update on there i'll put like a screenshot of what i was able to get like somewhere here but yeah oh well Alrighty guys, so I thought I would show you guys a little unboxing. I didn't want to make like a dedicated video of the unboxing just because I'm not a tech person. Um, so I feel like it would just be useless, but I thought we can do kind of like a first impressions of the whole Pacific Blue Color Live. Because you know me, we're all about the colors. Oh my god, I hated that sound. Did you guys just hear that? Oh my gosh. So, oh wow, the box is actually pretty nice. So it comes, I guess, like detached. Um, hold up. It's, oh, the box is actually really nice. Do you see this? How it's like black. I don't know about you guys, but I've only, anytime I've had an iPhone, it's always been white or like a rose gold, like a very light color. So do normal iphones if you buy a black iphone come in a black box because this is actually really cool i mean this is just packaging so who really cares but it's like a nice little detail oh my god this is so cute the freaking apple is like the pacific blue color do you see that okay i'm done so the box is like this oh wow see i feel like the my lamp makes it see like this head on you can't see it but do you see this so me and all my friends we were all deciding like we wanted them to come out with like a baby pink color or like a baby blue. When the navy color got released, I think for the Apple Watch and the iPad, everyone's like, oh, they're just gonna have a navy color for the iPhone 12, right? And I was like, okay, I'm not excited about this at all. And then when the picture started coming out for the Pro, cause I got the iPhone 12 Pro, they are like the Pacific blue is a little bit different. I'm gonna try to insert a picture of like a comparison between the two. Oh my gosh, it almost fell. But do you see how it's like shiny? I think that's what I really, really like about it. And then I think I'll just go through the box before I open the phone. So it does come with a little, what is this? I don't even know the names of things. I'm really not technology savvy, but it's like the US, I don't know, it's the new one, <laughs> okay. Ugh. And then I guess that's it. It's literally just the phone and that because I remember they were saying to help the environment or something they're, they're not going to give you the outlet for the wall which is fine because I have tons of them like I have literally like a drawer full of extra of the wall plugin so like I don't really mind I know some people were kind of upset about it 
and then they also said they're not giving you the headphones or the earbuds that usually come with it with the wire which is fine because i don't really use those either so i don't really care but so let's just reveal it together oh wow so let me get my phone so do you see the difference so i have a iphone 8 plus so i'm honestly really nervous about not having a button i just i like the physical feeling of having a button i know like some people say like oh you get used to it like it's not a big deal but yeah let me actually take it out of the case just so we can kind of compare weight so this is the size difference it is a little bit longer if you can see that like this oh wow so if you notice it actually has like a reflective side you can actually see like the reflection of the camera you see how it's like more what is this rectangular i don't know it's so funny i can describe purses so well but when it comes to like describing a cell phone this is so difficult for me do you guys see how this one is more rounded whereas the new one is like rectangular when i bring it closer it doesn't focus but yeah so in terms of weight well obviously i feel like i don't know i'm not really good with like small things with weight i want to say that my plus weighs more but the screen is bigger this is the camera i I'm really excited to use a new camera. This is getting so dirty. Oh, let me put my new case on. That was the whole point. So this is the case that I was showing literally last night. I did not expect my phone to arrive today because it told me that it was gonna come on November 2nd or something and it's October 29th, so this is perfect. I'll probably clean this again later, but let me just show you guys the case. The case that I got has like the bumper on the side too. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's like a very soft purple color. And then you can still see the navy right over here and then obviously i got the painted one i forgot what the collection is called i noticed that the button on the side can you guys see that so the button is a lot bigger do you see how this is the power button on the 8 and the power button on the 12 is a lot bigger and it's a lot shorter if you guys can see the length of this so yeah, so I finally have a new phone, so I do have to go to AT&T later. I made an appointment for tomorrow where I have to trade it in so then you can get the credits for it, but they don't tell you exactly how much you get for it. Oh, but let me show you what this looks like in here. So this is my like Goyard, I'll cover my cards, but this is my Goyard. It's supposed to be like a phone case. So we're gonna see if it fits in here, which I know for a fact it will because it's smaller than my old phone, but yay so it fits it perfectly and this one also does not have a pop socket on there so yay we're all good to go and then yeah okay so don't mind my messy desk but and i just wanted to update you guys that somebody did buy the wallet so i'm giving them the ribbon that it came with and then the little dust pouch and then here's the wallet and then just a little stuffing and it comes with like the full box so super cute 